Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you the new reserve option. So you can reserve a time that a student is already booked into on an intro only. So when they finish the intro, then somebody else can start that same time slot. Now here on the, the what, we, what I'm gonna do first of all is create a new student, a normal intro booking, so we can go through that process, then I'll come back and we'll reserve that time for another student. So click on new contact here, go to new student, and we'll create the new student. We'll call this student uh, Joe Intro, just for the sake of the exercise. And then what we need to do is change Joe to booked or intro, depending on whether he's paid or hasn't paid. And we're gonna click on that book and intro lesson and then that brings up the times that are available. So you can scroll down through all the available times. If you want to select particular days, as always, you can do that up here just by unticking boxes and ticking boxes. Now, you've got two choices here. You can see it's book this day time, which is in the blue, and then the purple, which is reserved this day time. So the idea is that we we can book a fresh time, nobody's booked into there, or we can book a reserve, we can re reserve a time which is currently being booked. Now, generally, that one there is missing only because there's not really a student in there, but generally you'll see a due date, and that tells you the date that that time is becoming available. So on the 1st of the 5th, that would be available. So let's go ahead and book this time here, Monday, 8 a.m. And there's Joe, you can see up there, Joe intro. And what we do here is then we just select the actual date that he's going to start. And let's say Joe starts on the 27th of the month. And you can see automatically it puts in a due date. So that means that Joe's five lessons will begin here on the 27th of the 3rd but it will, be, it will come up due, meaning someone else could book into that time on the 1st of the 5th. It's also the due time for Joe to join a group or continue on. Now, you've got a paid, unpaid here. So if we have Joe is paid and I go to the email confirmation, what I'm going to see is a copy of the email with all his details, with the date, the start date, etc. And I can adjust the payment due date here just by changing that. But you can see that it's got the unpaid there. So I get payment due. Now I can change it here to paid, but if I'm in this window when I'm doing the booking, if I know Joe's paid, I can just click on paid there. And then when I go to the confirmation, it's got paid and it's not asking him to pay on the email. So that makes that very easy. All right, so if we go to the timetable, if I just check the timetable here, we you will see that we've got Joe intro booked here at that time of Monday, eight o'clock. And there's also a date appearing there which shows the, the, the date that he starts, which is the 27th or 3rd. Now, if you can see down here that we've got the date here and it's in red, so this student's starting on the same date, but it's in red. The difference is blue is paid, red is unpaid. So you can just by looking at the timetable, look at them, you can see whether they paid and what date that they're starting at. So again, very handy. Now, if we wanna go ahead and book a new student in, and we're going to book them into that. They want to reserve the time after Joe. So you can see the due date there is the first, first of the fifth. So you can say, well, okay, I've got a, I've, they say they can't do any other times. I've got a Monday at 8 a.m., but it's not, a, not available until the first of the fifth. Then someone can reserve that time. And there are two ways to do it. One, you can actually do it from here where you click the reserved pin here, but where I'm going to show you how to book it in as a student, which is more, the better way, the more common way to do it. So if we go here, because initially what you do is you create a new contact and we're going to call this guy Joe Reserve. Okay, and Joe Reserve is going to book in here and we're going to book that intro lesson for Joe. Now, as I said, Joe is going to take that same time at Monday uh, on Mondays at 8 a.m. but he can't start until the first of the fifth and so we have to reserve that time for Joe because it's already taken uh, by Joe intro which you can see just there so we'll click on reserve this daytime and then we come to this screen you can see Joe reserve at the top there daytime room teacher etc and the start date is the first of the fifth so that's that's the date that he can start now let's say that he starts a week later let's say he doesn't want to start that week you can actually change that date so you can go to say the eighth there and change it to another day. And so what we do now is, is that's all booked in. Again, you can go to the email confirmation, but what we will do is go to the timetable and see how it looks now. So I'm gonna hit, hit that. You remember it's Monday, 8 a.m. So I'm going to the timetable and now you can see Joe intro is booked in here starting on the 27th of the third. We know that he ends on the 1st of the 5th. 
because that's when Joe's going to start, and we've got that re- that due time, meaning that's the the time that Joe will take over that time. So that's how you book the reserve. Now, what happens when you when you come to to take Joe out of there? If you take Joe out of there automatically, then you can. Uh, there are a couple of ways you can do it. But the, if we just delete him here by clicking that cross, then you can see it moves Joe reserve automatically into that time, and it sets Joe up as a reserve. So, uh, sorry, sorry, as an intro. So you, you can see that he's slotted into there. Joe intro is gone, and Joe reserve now has that time. So that's pretty well it. If uh, you have any questions, um, as always, send me an email. Thank you.